Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Well, that's that's not really properly framed up, and those are not the right uh, lower thirds. Alright, so before we begin this video, I just want to let you know that we've teamed up with Intel to give away this custom Troy PC. It's got some pretty ball specs, so you definitely want to partake in this giveaway. Just head over to our Twitch channel and type hashtag Intel in the chat. You can find a link to the terms and conditions in the description of this video. Today I'm joined by Radoslav, a designer from the Troy development team, and we're going into a head-to-head -head multiplayer campaign. This means that as opposed to co-op, we cannot see each other's movements, and also each player can partake in every battle by taking control of the AI. You, you'll figure out what I mean as we get into the video. Exactly. All right, so I'm going to auto-resolve this. So you can see that yep. I've chosen to auto-resolve and uh, uh, you were undecided until, until you weren't. Oh my god. So mean. You beat that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, so... Two turns... Yeah, and as you can see, around. there's a little timer letting you know how long you have to decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so now and my turn is we've ended. We've got our first save, yeah. Woo. And since we're playing head to head, we can see what the other is doing. But mm. if we were playing uh, co-op, we yeah, would yeah, yeah. have vision of each other, and we would like share the shroud and so on and so on. And so. now it should be prompting you to decide. I'm going to select all to resolve. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, punt there. Okay. Cool. I'm I'm a huge fan of uh, Hector's animations. He has some of the, like, in my opinion, some of the best like looking finishers in the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's take a look at Priam's air. So neither one of us has really done anything here. Um, although you are you are ahead, but it's uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna make sure to change that. Um, Yep, the small objectives that you see on your faction mechanic screen are yeah. actually different than the ones that I have, so it's it's going to require different things of us to, ah. to earn our father's love. Smoky Bones says, I haven't played for a little while, but I heard that Achilles start was suggested. Yeah, Achilles used to have a more difficult than expected starting position initially when the game first launched. And uh, there have been certain steps we've taken to ensure that uh, he's more, you know, truthful to what the front end says, because the front end labels him as a normal difficulty character. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we've managed to get him to what one would consider a normal difficulty. Am I at war with anyone? Yeah, hello. Let's uh, let's travel. Make uh, make some plays here. Let's see if I can take take this on. I think I could win this. Uh, could I alter this all win it though? Uh, uh, I'm gonna... Looks like you have to fight it. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this battle. Sorry. To uh, to hold uh, up your turn. This is. This is an interesting part where, yeah. since we're playing head to head, I can choose to play as the AI, or oh. I can choose to just spectate the battle. <laughs> for for this one, I'm gonna just spectate and let you <laughs> play out the battle. But Damn. if I so chose, I could I could be the AI for you. You go into a battle and you're like, yeah, I can definitely be the mm. AI here, and uh, your head to head opponent just decides that it's not going to be that easy. Yeah, the battle doesn't seem to be going uh, that great for you. Uh, it's been better. Yep, looks like this fight is uh, going yeah. to be over uh, quite uh, soon. Uh, that's uh, that, that's, that's embarrassing. Bad. Oh, which is the OP faction multiplayer? That's, uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna have to uh, throw that over to the multiplayer community. I'd say it's a bit early to be saying yeah. this or that faction is definitely the one. Do you have a favorite? Uh, yes, probably Achilles. Mm. Just because Achilles himself is uh, a very powerful a warrior, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can be enough to allow you to win some fights that you're normally not supposed to win. Uh, is Achilles the new Lu Bu? I would argue that Achilles is the original Lu Bu, and, and Lu Bu is the new Achilles. Considering Achilles uh, was around, what, 2,000 years before Lu Bu? 
Uh, how many players can co-op campaign in Troy 2? You can do single player or you can do two player co-op or head to head. Head to head is what we're doing right now. Ooh, the, the AI is uh, coming after me. And they... I'm going to have to fight this one manually. All right, all right. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna spectate. All right, let's go and see what they have here. I oh. can see they've got a fair few harpies, which is going to be a, yeah. a huge pain for me. I'm just gonna try something here real quick. <laughs> go in a circle here. <laughs> go through it. Yep, you can. <laughs> you can do that. But when you're spectating, you can uh, communicate uh, via going on the map. Oh. It okay. also works on the campaign map as well. But if, for example, you were playing as the AI, we would not be allowed to communicate just to yeah. make sure that the fight is uh, fair. Uh, I love painting on maps. It's my favorite. Okay, so we've got the Militia Warband going up against the Militia and the Young Spears, but being assaulted by the Harpies and Javelin Throwers here on the sides. They're not going to last very long. Meanwhile, the uh, the Swordsmen are going up against the Young Spears and Spearmen, together with uh, uh, even more Swordsmen. Uh, Hector is running straight up to Thymedes. Trying to get something done here. Meanwhile, the gods of Troy are also fighting against uh, Thymedes and the Philobides. And really tr just holding out. That's what they're doing there with their big turtle shields. Not not really doing much damage, but they're uh, they're there to take a beating. Of course, they are also being accosted by harpies, as well as a militia and light swordsmen here on the side. Uh, even more th javelin throwers here on the... Uh, uh, in the back, but they are being chased away by the swordsmen. Uh, these swordsmen are fighting against the militia. That's going to be an easy win for the swordsmen there on the side. Let's go back and see how things are doing over here. Uh, the militia warband ran away, but it's coming back. Meanwhile, the swordsmen are sh chasing away the harpies and the young spears. Not doing too badly. Um, except for apparently one unit that is losing heart. I, I still have a chance. Um, yeah, well, I'm looking for the comeback. All right, all right. Uh, if you can take out their uh, their heroes, I think you're good. I already got rid of one of the heroes, so I'm... Uh, Ooh. Nope, nope. Apparently that's not going to happen. Oh, well. Oh. Poor thing. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> Let's get some archers in here. Wow, you, you're almost done with your full first army. Yeah, I, I, I'm going for it. Then one, once I have my full first, uh, my first full army, then I can go and smack up the, the Macorians. Yep, I, my plan is very similar, by the way. Oh, this is an interesting question. So in doing a historical title, uh, do, you, uh, do you talk to experts, historians and such, uh, in doing the research? Uh... uh... It might come off as a surprise, but yes, we absolutely <laughs> do. There's uh, a lot of research associated with making, you know, a historical game. There's a lot of reading to be done because usually we're not the first people interested in the time period or subject or, you know, the general theme of it. So there are some designers in our team who are let's say, more specialized towards history and knowing the historical facts and doing the due diligence and the research and all of that. So, yes, one part of the process is uh, just contacting the experts on the topic because it's very likely that they'll uh, be able to help us. And they're usually, like, you know, quite excited to know that uh, someone is working on a project that's uh, mm. close to their subject of expertise. Let's, uh, let, let's get back to battle. There we go. Oh, I can even ultra resolve this. Teach them a lesson. Yep, the AI doesn't really feel like it has much of a chance. Because nope. the interesting part is that I see the like balance of power bar from the AI's perspective in this case. Ah. 
and it doesn't doesn't look great. Exceptional warriors found. So, uh, what is that? Harpies. Nice. All right, we'll, we'll we'll get some harpies going. I could go and take care of him, but I could also just go and uh, attack their capital. There in love and war. Which is currently undefended. That's brilliant. By the way, it's time for me to appear out of the fog of war. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Hey. Oh. It's one of the fun aspects of head to head. I need to fight this. Well, um, do you want me to take the AI here? Are you feeling yeah, sure. confident? Yeah, let, let, uh, let's do it. Well, let's well, go. Why not? Well, yeah. Let's have fun with that. Um, Some indirect confrontation. <laughs> uh, when you're playing head to head, uh, the other player can take control of the AI armies in uh, in, in battles. I'm, I'm gonna play as Macaria now. Yeah. Have spotted hidden foes. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So uh, maybe not the best position for me, uh, considering you have uh, uh, very much a lot of uh, javelins. My my aim to encircle you has been uh, has been working so far. That's good for you, I guess. All right. Oh yeah, I can I can shoot into your uh, archers. Yeah, that's what I was uh, afraid of. Yeah, uh, this is one of the dangers of uh, <laughs> multiplayer get-to-get -get campaigns. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely sure you could have won this battle against the AI. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 